Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Jacob Dark. So today I'm going to be giving you my unbiased, 100% brutally honest opinion of the widely popular Secret Lab Titan chair. As you can see, I'm sitting on one now. It's got tons and tons of positive reviews all over their social media, but if you happen to look on third party sites, you might find some things that are not so positive. So what is the truth? Let's get hands on and find out today. So the first thing I should let you know is the number one thing that I'm looking for is the seat padding or the butt support. So my last chair, you know, I spent hours and hours editing and by the time I get to the end of an editing session, well, my butt was pretty sore. So that's kind of the key factor that I'm looking for. I will be, of course, checking off all the boxes, but let's just see how well it does with the seat pad. Upon opening the door after a FedEx delivered email, the first thing I noticed was, holy cow, this is the biggest box I've ever had delivered. I mean, look at the size of it. Upon opening this gargantuan, I was greeted with a nice congratulatory welcome message on a poster sized insert that had a full color assembly instructions manual printed on the back. This has to be the most premium set of assembly instructions I've ever received. Also included is a secret lab access folder, which has warranty info and a care guide. There's an accessories box with casters and the hydraulic mechanism, as well as various tools. Everything is nicely packaged and feels high quality. Just listen to that durable construction. To save time, let's jump to the finished product. First impressions, the first thing I noticed is that this thing is big and heavy. Now I'm only 5'6 and the site recommends that I go with the Omega based on my height, but the seat looked much more comfortable on the Titan so that's what I went with. Now because of this it looks like at its lowest setting it's just a tad bit tall for me as my heels hang off of the ground, however I've solved this by wearing some slides which you know fill in that extra inch or so of space. Now on the website, the soft weave fabric pictures gave me the impression it was going to feel more mesh-like, almost like the seat of an office chair, but in fact it feels more like jean or denim material. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing as it feels cool to the touch. It has suede accents along the edges which help give it a bit of style, and I love the fact that I can adjust this seat so far back I could probably set up a three screen sci-fi gaming rig like JP in Grandma's Boy. I think my biggest gripe is that whether it's the seat or the backrest, the padding feels really stiff and has very minimal cushioning or pillow effect. Now maybe that's just because I'm used to mesh office chairs which feel much more softer. So after a full day's use, where do I stand? Let's cover a couple of the strong points and then the one big weak spot that I found. I immediately noticed this chair forced me to sit in a proper upright position as if I was Tank in the Matrix focused on pulling out Morpheus before an agent got to him. With the lumbar support rotating knob, I was able to adjust just how far the lumbar lever or brace stuck out making it excellent on supporting my lower back and spine curvature. The small memory foam pillow included was kind of awkward at first, making me feel like it was kind of pushing my head forward in an uncomfortable position, but the more I tuned myself to the best positioning of the chair, the more comfortable it became. Everything about this chair feels like it needs a bit of time to grow into and mold to your body. Now, the big negative that I'm experiencing so far is, you guessed it, unfortunately, butt support. This has to be the biggest sore spot, pun intended, so far. Now, they do advertise themselves as having a firm seat, however, in my experience after a full day's use, well, I've had to take multiple breaks and really stretch my glutes as it feels like I'm sitting on hard styrofoam. It seems like I can feel one of the metal bars underneath the seat right on my piriformis muscle, which if that's the case long term, is not a good thing. Now, years ago, I was a licensed massage therapist and that piriformis muscle was a main focus for clients that suffered from sciatica. Now, if I adjust myself a few inches forward, then that pressure is relieved, but then the perfect posture that this seat gives you is kind of out the window. 
So that's going to be the key factor which determines whether I keep this chair long term or not. And I'm personally keeping my fingers crossed because although they do give you a full money back guarantee, you're required to pay for that return shipping. And if you recall the size of that giant box, that's not an expense I'm looking forward to. So let's go ahead and cut the video now, skip to two weeks later, and I'll give you my final opinion. So I did my best to try to make it to that 14 day mark, but I just couldn't. My low back, my glutes, even my hamstrings were getting destroyed by this chair and I felt like I'd been hit by a truck. So I went ahead and posted it for sale locally as I didn't want to pay that almost $100 return shipping fee and I sold it pretty quickly within a few days for this almost the same price that I paid. I only lost out about $30 so that's a win for me. Now I happened to notice just a day later that somebody else was posting their brand new Omega chair that they'd just received and so I wondered if maybe they were experiencing the same things. So let's take a look at that little chat history and I'll read off what was said. So I started out by asking is it like sitting on hard styrofoam? He said not styrofoam but it is a chair built for good posture. He obviously didn't want to say anything negative if he was trying to sell it. And that's when I told him that I was just curious because I just got one a few days ago and to me it was like sitting on styrofoam. So I sold it and said they have high demand so it should sell fast. He then replied, uh, yeah, it's actually not very comfortable as I thought it'd be. Thinking about getting the Titan Softweave fabrics if I can sell this. I love how adjustable it is and how high it can sit. That's when I told him that I actually had the soft weave and that it was super uncomfortable and that I was just going to pick up an office chair for now and maybe pick up a Herman Miller or something like that later. He asked me if I had the Omega or the Titan and I told him I went with the Titan because the seat looked more comfortable but it felt like hard cardboard or styrofoam and just destroyed my low back and glutes lesson learned. He kind of laughed with me and said, yeah, my lower back is getting destroyed too. I thought for an expensive chair, it would be extra comfortable. After this, I went ahead and did a little bit of Google research and I stumbled upon quite a few of Reddit posters who experienced some of the same things that me and this guy experienced. So I know that I'm not alone out there. Now look, I'm not saying that this is a bad chair and it's going to be bad for you, but if you're somebody that needs that cushion, maybe you suffer from things like sciatica, maybe you have bone issues or fibromyalgia, and you need soft, this is not going to be the chair for you. It did a number on me and it just may do that for you. So something to keep in mind when you're looking for a chair. Now all along I was planning on doing a brutally honest review. I just didn't expect the chair to do a Mortal Kombat brutality on my lower back. So what ended up happening is I did order a cheap chair from Office Depot and then a few days later I stumbled upon a Facebook Marketplace ad for somebody selling Steelcase Leap version 2 chairs for $60. Dollars six zero. Those chairs are a thousand dollars brand new. So what happened is a local call center was shutting down their operations with COVID and all this stuff. They sent everybody to work from home and they decided to make it a permanent thing. And so they wanted to sell off all of their office furniture, all of their chairs. So again, I got a thousand dollar steel case chair for 60 bucks. Now it was dirty and it had some scuffs, but after a good cleaning, this thing is almost brand new. So win in my book. Well, there you have it. That is my brutally honest review of the Secret Lab Titan Soft Weed Chair. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad chair, but this was my experience. So I'm hoping I'm not going to get 100,000 dislikes on that video for those who have had different experiences. But I always have to be honest with what I go through and share that with you. Now, if you're looking for more brutally honest reviews, I'm always giving my unbiased opinion. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be alerted each time I upload new content. That's it for today. So until next time, thank you for watching. Stay tuned and have a great day.